we now today being called here to be told that for, our MC, uh, for the welfare of the MCS to be taken care of, we must go through Professor Kindiki Kidure. I think this is a... Who has said that? The, that, 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 is, that is what... Nobody has said that. So, that is where, that well, is welfare IMCAs in yes. Avitaji Kukua that, that free. Nobody said that. Hey boss, you will give your opinion. But give them the correct the, uh, passion of why, the, why we were here. The conveners of this meeting will give their statement. Wow. But I want to give my statement and say yeah, that for the, we, the welfare of the MCAs should be given unconditionally because the MCAs have met the president themselves and they agreed on the issues that they want to be checked. Na hii vile tumeona ni njama ya mbali ya kukuja kuandamine deputy president and we as the MCAs and leaders hapa mashinani hiyo hatuta kubali. We are behind the deputy president, he is our spokesman hakuna uh, vile tutakubalisha watu wakuja kutupeleka hivi na mambo ya welfare atindio tufinyilia deputy president we respect him and we pray for him and we support him. We came under the invitation of our speaker. Let me speak from the perspective of Moranga County because that is where I serve and have been elected. We came through the invitation of the speaker, our speaker Johnson Mukua. And yesterday, he told us that we are coming here to meet the chair of COG, Governor Ann Waiguru, who was a no-show today. So we did not meet Governor Ann Waiguru. This was a meeting between MCAs and all the speakers. That is, uh, that is why the agenda that we had today was about the welfare of the MCAs and that is what we are talking about and we have talked about the issues that, that is why we've met and we've talked about the agenda of the welfare of MCAs these are issues we've talked with the president these are issues that we've talked through CAF these are issues we've talked through AMCA which are bodies that represent MCAs and are bodies that unite MCAs but now today here we want to say and I want to say that Whatever uh, is being propagated here is not correct because it is being indicated that for MCA's welfare to be taken care of, it must go through Professor Kindiki Kidure, which is not, uh, which is unjustified because uh, MCA's should get their welfare without going through any broker because it is their right. Having, uh, having pension or any other thing is their right and they, and they require to be treated equally.